we have an issue with the Samsung SyncMaster 245B, similar to that of the SyncMaster 245BW. The symptoms are once the power button is pushed, the display light stays a steady blue and the screen remains black. To remove the back cover, remove the stand first, insert a small screwdriver in and around the bezel and pry out lightly. Only apply enough pressure to dislodge the tabs from around the bezel. Work your way around the outer edge of the bezel until the back is free. Once the cover is off, the inverter board shown on the left must be removed from the housing which encloses the power board and the logic board. Remove the two outer screws from the inverter board. The plugs on the left hand side of the inverter board do not have to be removed. Gently lift the inverter board to remove the plug from the power supply. Remove the plug from the bezel controls on the right hand side of the housing. Gently slide back the housing and remove the monitor plug. Flip the housing over. On the left is the power board, on the right is the logic board. In most cases, issues arise from faulty components on the power board. Remove the power board from the housing. Remove the four screws and the two plugs. Visually inspect the power board for bulge capacitors or burnt components. In this case, we have two faulty capacitors. Use a solder iron to remove the capacitors from the board. Heat each terminal and then wiggle the capacitor slightly to dislodge. Do not apply too much heat to each terminal as you could damage the board. When replacing capacitor, it's recommended that you use a slightly higher voltage than the one that has failed. The voltage of each capacitor is clearly marked. The UF or microfarad rating must be identical to the one that is removed. When installing new capacitors in the board, make sure the polarity is correct. The capacitors are marked with a white stripe on one side, which indicates the negative side. The boards usually have a heavy black semicircle or white semicircle to indicate the negative side. Another problematic part of the board are the three resistors in the bottom left hand corner. They're clearly marked with an RB805, 806, and 807. They are half watt 68 ohm resistors. Remove the old sealant from around the base of the resistors. For an accurate reading, it's best to remove the resistor from the board or at least disconnect one side. Resistor RB805 shows an open circuit, which means the resistor has failed. The other two resistors in the group test OK, but it's recommended to replace all three. Make sure the resistors are all positioned the same way around, the gold stripes facing down. The board is equipped with three fuses. To test the round fuses, dislodge one end and check individually. The board is now ready for installation. The new resistors are installed along with the two new capacitors. It is recommended to replace all the capacitors on the, on the board, but in this case, you only had two for the demonstration. The monitor can be repaired for around $20 with three new resistors and a set of capacitors. Thank you for viewing and may you have good luck with all your monitor repairs.